Good evening, I'm Keely Van Middendorp. Here's what's making headlines across the county. One person is dead after an apparent hit and run crash last night in Oildale, according to the California Highway Patrol. Officers were called just after 9.30 p.m. to Roberts Lane and Airport Drive after a caller reported finding a body of a man in the road that was possibly hit by a vehicle. Anyone with information is asked to call CHP at 396-6600. Some encouraging news this week from the Department of Veterans Affairs. A new report indicates the number of suicide deaths involving military men and women dropped for the second year in a row. The numbers are still distressing. The 2022 National Veterans Suicide Prevention Report found that 6,146 vets took their lives in 2020. That's a decrease of 343 from the year before. In 2019, the number declined by more than 300 as well. Veterans Affairs officials say there has been significant investments in veterans services, including $52 million in funding for 80 community organizations nationwide to coordinate suicide prevention services. And the Advanced Center for Eye Care and the Lost Hills Union School District have partnered with Chevron to provide underserved and uninsured children with free eye exams and glasses. 80 students from the Lost Hills Union School District visited Advanced Center for Eye Care in Bakersfield to receive much needed eye care services at no cost. Officials say the participants were pre-selected and the event was not open to the general public. Beautiful day for us again today. Anyone heading out to the Kern County Fair treated with high temperatures only in the lower 80s below average for this time of year. And it is, by the way, the first day of fall. Unfortunately, the first week of fall not looking as nice. Temperatures are going to be getting warmer for us. 95 and 96 as we head into the weekend. Temperatures peaking for us Monday, Tuesday. I do think at this point we are going to stay below 100 degrees. So a small victory there. But certainly a warm up in the wings waiting for us. 96 and 97 Sunday, Monday for Lake Isabella, upper 80s for Tehachapi and Fraser Park. And again, everyone getting a little cooler towards the end of the forecast. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest updates anytime, be sure to head to our website, turtle23.com.